and we're live. Most of my <laughs> therapy was court mandated, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but <laughs> that's funny. But I think you said that it was time well spent. Yeah, you know, like without digging into it, but like yeah, yeah, it was time well spent for sure. I'm glad. I'm glad we did it. Um, she was great because yeah. she was like, she was like, so you're here for uh, substance abuse? What was it uh, heroin or? Meth. I'm like, You're like, I got caught like, with weed. Like I had half an ounce of marijuana. She's like, that's not substance abuse. That's just okay. Is there anything else you'd like to focus on while we're here? Because we got to <laughs> do, we got to do these sessions. And uh, you know, it's, I'm here. I'm here no matter what. So are you? I'm like, yeah, we can knock some other shit out because uh, you know, I really want to smoke some weed, but um, I don't think I have a substance abuse issue. I'm, I'm not getting the shakes or anything over here. You know. Um, yeah, yeah and at that point you were off it for some extended period of time like yeah it already been like a year time. or something crazy what happens if you were to fail a drug test is it one uh, strike you're out it's up to them it, it's sort of really? discretionary yeah yeah we like, like, find like, out. <laughs> <laughs> 29 days away yeah, Kyle, let's, let's roll the it. dice i want you to smoke a blunt one minute before it goes because your, your <laughs> officer calls you and he's like hey what are you doing right Video now it. <laughs> yeah um I, I think that I think the PO could it would be up to him what happened, what the sec what the first step would be. I think he could just do nothing if he really wanted to. Or he could like uh potentially send me back in front of the judge. And then the judge, he is he's got a ton of discretion, the way I understand it. Like like he could send me to jail, like for weeks at a time or something like that. Or maybe even like go back and give me prison time, like 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 reopen the case or something. So like I don't think that they would do that for like a first offense of like marijuana or something like that, but it's not mm. something that I've even what a shitty system though. fucking around that's with. Yeah. Option, what an right? yeah. The fact that that can be done is just like, cause like there's doing? marijuana all around me. Like, I don't know where to actually go to get it. I guess I like know people who probably know where some is, but like, like, like I'll, I'll be like walking through my neighborhood. I go and I, I walk a lot and like dudes will be in their yard, smoking weed, like, like hanging out just like right in their yards or like, I'll be at the just gym walk by like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, I'm just like like cross oh. the street and go around like like or i'm at the gym and there's a guy who just has a an, a, the stinks of weed the aura like 20 the like he's like an aura of a yep. fucking dope stink on him and it's just, he's just blazed out of his he's got mind. some good shit huh he's yeah. got some real good you probably want to want to get to know him after after maybe so maybe so. no, I'm no like, he's going to colorado his I'm weed stores look like I, apple stores you all know, the just... yeah exactly all the weed that i'm going to smoke from now on is going to be legal weed whether it's medical or uh or, or recreational one way or another i'll get some legal weed <laughs> So nobody There's gonna be anything. marijuana in my system in 30 days. Let me tell you right now. I guarantee fucking to you. <laughs> I I keep bringing up politics. But I'm disappointed the Democrats in this. Like they started. Oh, bill, legalizing did something it? Something the Listen, house. Maybe it's and awful. Stop there. I don't know. It's such a you slam know? dunk. I don't understand. I truly. I'm like. I I think they're saving it for uh, the next presidential election oh, yeah. issue. Like I don't. think they're gonna like. Um, it is. It is. Poll. It is. I'm pretty sure it is of majority preference to legalize or decriminalize marijuana across the aisle, right? Both Republican and Democrat, there is a plus 50%. It might, there's probably a disparity between the two, but like, come on, That's man. That's my impression too. It's like all Democrats and half a Republican. Who doesn't like there. weed? What's the problem? LAX, the fact that the TSA in California has a, an official statement that you can carry up to an ounce of, of flour uh, through TSA with no problem, no matter where you're going, they don't, they don't really yeah there's there's they have no problem i uh, i do it all the time and it is a wonderful thing can, can so, i interrupt what about yeah. the other side yeah like, what about is the there any side? checking on the that's their problem but nobody checks you on the way out from the airport i'm not condoning this this is illegal you should not do this but if you do fly it is not the tsa in california's problem when you land in uh texas and you walk out with your half an ounce of marijuana if you get stopped by a dog like shit sucks that's on right. you but it's so, not the TSA's but problem, problem, but you feel a, like there's a minimal risk on the departure side. I have never in any point or at any point been pulled. I don't even know if drug dogs give a shit about marijuana, if I'm honest with you. Because, like, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't know either. But, like, the amount of time for the last eight years that I've traveled with marijuana, I cannot fly without smoking prior to getting on the plane. It's just not a thing I can do. Uh, so that goes for both ways. I Like, I just get anxious. I like to sleep on the plane, whatever. Never been caught at any point in time. And I've flown like upwards of 150 times in the last 
couple years. So it's now, like, to you be know, clear, you're only oh. talking about domestic. Yeah, no, uh, no, absolutely not. International is a whole different risk level. You wouldn't no, do that. I wouldn't bring weed into another country, but I would bring weed into the airport and then eat the eat the weed prior to the international flight every time. That's right, what I right, do. right. Yeah, I, I get that. I just saying because like you like no one checks you on the departure side, but they check you in the yeah. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, oh, at yeah, no point in so <laughs> yeah. like going to like Dominican Republic. No, fuck, no, don't bring. Do not. They might bring have illicit. more there. <laughs> if it the was DR. the Netherlands, if it was the Netherlands, <laughs> they'd be like, "Yeah, you're good to go, brother." But like, no, I would never do that. But I promise you that, like, the state of North Car- Wilmington, North Carolina's TSA on my walkout was never like, "Wow, can't believe you do such a thing." <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's time. Uh, so, twenty nine more days, Kyle. I, I, yeah, yeah. I'll. Uh, you're as, going as to that- Colorado. That's locked in. And you might even stay there. Is it is moving to Colorado locked in? More or less. More or but less. The, okay. um, yeah, but the uh, yeah, I'm going to stay out there for two weeks guaranteed. Uh, that's how long I have the first Airbnb uh, booked for um, mm-hmm. with like a bunch of people. And then I'm probably going to just stay out there for at least another week or two, either on my own or with like if a couple of those guys want to stay longer, like Scum or Chiz or somebody, uh, I'll get like a two or bed, two or three bedroom. Um, or if they don't, I'm staying, I'll just stay by myself and fly a girl out there or something like that. Like I'm staying for at least, at least two or three weeks, maybe a month. Uh, depends how I feel. Like if, if I'm like 25 days in, 21 days in and I'm like, all right, I, maybe I need a tolerance break. <laughs> this, has been, yeah. this has been an ordeal. Um, <laughs> then I might fly my ass home and, uh, start packing my bags and like arranging the move and everything like that. Cause I and- still have to do that. It's hard to like, like begin the moving process before i'm like legally free like because i can't like even travel to like look at houses or apartments or whatever with the the way the real estate is right now i think i'm gonna rent for like six to eight months before i buy a place like real estate's so fucked up right now i think this shit's gonna crash within the next year i hear you it's on the way back down to florida already is it in the next couple months you might be able to start finding some deals who knows yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna rent for a little while um, the, the, the company that I rent through right now, like they have like places all around the country. And I know that if I like go through them, then they can like plug me right into a place at like a discounted mm-hmm. rate. And I think they'll even help with some of the moving costs a little bit. Um, they're pre cool You that. don't have to go through the yeah. you know, process and everything. Yeah. Good. So, um, I, I may just do that, um, wherever I go. And, uh, and then like, once I'm there, it's a lot easier to like buy houses. Cause like right now, like what would I do if I wanted to like, let's just say buy a house in Colorado. I can't go out there to even begin the paperwork until I'm free. So right. then I would, it, that would be in this no man's land where I'm like living here in Georgia and trying to buy the place, trying to close on a cr- place across the country without like a home base in that country. Like what you I might want to do, Kyle, even now ish or not too long from now is get pre-approved for a mortgage. Yeah. 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 That, yeah that'll grease huge. the skids for when you, you know, buying a house. And also it might, like there could be something on there that you're not aware of that you need to address. I I had a negative thing on my credit record that was a mistake. It was a medical mm-hmm. bill. They said I didn't pay $110. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I never even got this service. I don't know what it was about. I tried to pay it just to clean up the record and the place was out of business. Like it was just oh, it was just that's wrong. Whack. And yeah, uh, I, I had to wait the last... seven years. But shit like that happens. I spent the last uh, like as soon as I got out of prison, I started working on that, like like calling up like like I had I had one thing on my credit from like I had let my insurance lapse once, my car insurance, and they had put it on my credit for like sixty dollars. And so like I call I called and I was like, Hey, I have progressive insurance right now and progressive has a has a has a fucking thing out of my credit. And they're like, Yeah, we already sold that to the bullshittery fucking credit credit collections collection yep. company sharks so i called them up and uh they said if i settled it they would remove it and it would like remove all negative impacts on my credit within like three months and it did so like my, yeah. my credit score went up like 80 points in three months or something like that and then so i've been working on my credit for the last two years or something like that and i've got it up to a pretty respectable range these days uh, i don't have anything negative on there anymore for sure trevor did you say yours was 900 no no I, oh probably high 700s or something mm, mine was mine eight something i didn't know is, it went over 800 mine's... and then when you said yours was 900 i was like it depends no, on who I you're asking does though. it go to nine isn't like i don't know what it goes to equifax is 950 and um 
Uh, FICO is 850. I'd like to flex my 838 out of 850 FICO score. Thank you. <laughs> it has gotten me Good not song. laid, but it should. And that is why I'm saying it. So do, call do me you if you have that credit. profile? I should. Oh my God, that's so smart. Yeah, no wonder you're with somebody for Good five years. Good looking and financially secure. And health insurance. Yeah, uh, but not great health insurance because it doesn't cover mental. <laughs> Dad, don't cover that on Tinder. Speaking yeah. of Tinder, we have to find Diego's mom. Love her up. Oh my God. <laughs> Give her the love night of her life. <laughs> oh my I lo- God. I, lo- I love what he's trash talking. I'm going to love your mom up. <laughs> and then break her heart. <laughs> Not call her back. <laughs> uh, good shit. 